Hey y'all, what's up? How you doing? We locked this out. I got ready to go nowhere but the I got ready to go nowhere but the bedroom. Ready to go nowhere but the living room. Ready to go nowhere. And that's that. So I tried something new, and obviously in this video we're gonna talk about what my story time, what I've done up until now. My first week of quarantine is in this video. My responses, how I feel, how I felt, and I took a chance. I didn't want to be a hypocrite because I told you I'd take a chance with something in this video, and I tried some eye makeup. But keep watching. I'm bored even looking at myself. I'm tired of you. <laughs> Bro, what? Why are you come over here with all that energy? What is that? Is that someone's call? It's an evil world we live in. I think I've already said that everyone is probably doing their own version of what they're doing during quarantine. And five tips to stay alive. How to make it out in quarantine. I'm pretty sure everyone has done their own COVID video. I'm gonna be the first to tell you, I don't even, I'm, I'm winging it day by day. And thank you, Jesus, for wine. I haven't drank any hard liquor this whole COVID phase. One, because it's March and I'm still not drinking hard liquor. And two, I, I'm scared to even dare drink any hard liquor during a time like this. I'll, I'll end up an alcoholic for real, for real. Dark time. It really was that call. Your car should not sound like that. That shit is not cute at all. Like, bro, that was not manly. That was just dumb. Anyway, what have I done during COVID? First week, I did nothing. When I lost my job, <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait to tell my kids the dramatics of this story. When I lost my job, take one, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Let me stop, that's the grandkids. I can't control what my kids going to make it. Okay, I'm going off the rocker. I didn't get quarantined until I lost my job. I know they told us a couple weeks before, like, yo, stay home, but I'm like, ain't nothing really happening in New York. Like, I know it's serious, people trying to avoid it, but I don't recall any bad cases happening in New York. You know, went to work Tuesday, Wednesday, then Saturday. Work's been slow, girl. Work's been like a lunch shift on a dinner shift. You know, like slow, slow. If you work at the restaurant, you know that. You the girl, they make sure they book on a Saturday for a weekend, like dinner time, you know what it's giving. Like New York money at a restaurant Friday, Saturday night. Once I'm seeing that not even the back room can fill up, that was my first gunshot. Like, something actually going on, okay. Heard you. That was my first strike of no one hmm? you affected my pockets. Second strike was me going to get my hair from my hairstylist. And you know, he's just running like 10 minutes behind the Starbucks next door to the hair salon he works at. As I'm sitting down at a Starbucks. Starbucks do not discriminate and the time frame do not discriminate. They let you be in that home all day. So I know, I bought something. I'm never the girl, I'm not really often someone that sets up shop in a Starbucks and don't pay for nothing. That's just not, that's just not. I bought something, a little snacky snack, and I bought a drink. A grande, I remember it. First, I look to my right, there's a lady sitting there, she been there when I first got there doing real work on her laptop, like actual work, like not fake work, like check her phone every two, five minutes or so, two minutes or so, like check out her phone, no, like she ain't touch her phone yet, like she going from notebook to laptop, notebook to laptop, she not playing, like she doing her work work. Sip of wine. Can't believe I saw people from outside. Okay. Yeah, so shorty next to me was doing makeup, right? I mean, was doing her work. She could have been like Armenian. She wasn't white, white, but she was she was passing. The worker walks up to her and I noticed he sang something to her and I'm and, and it looked like pack it up. It looked like the end the common denominator was pack your shit up. You know, me in my head, I seen it and I'm like, okay, maybe she been here too long, you know? Maybe she just overstayed her welcome. Other people wanna use the little desk and bench, you know? 
No. That's what I'm thinking because I, it better not be the same. You not about to go and tell, to tell me the same thing. That's what I do know. I look to the right. I'm looking like. And then I go back to my computer, back to my editing while I wait for my hairstylist. Cause I'm like, I'm not even here trying to be here that long. So I'm good. Like I'm only here for 10 minutes. My hairstylist is on the way, but then there's a black lady sitting in between us. I just look one more time as the lady's actually packing up her stuff. I look like that to the black lady. Black lady look at me. She's like, you next. I was like, think she was <laughs> yo i'm like nah because minute and a half passed because he actually took the table from up under her where she was editing and then put it behind like opened up their little like please only go you know pick that shit up mm -hmm. went to the back now it's me nah i'm like let me just get let me look like i'm super busy no don't even touch your phone girl straight edit don't touch your phone my computer and then he started walking my direction i'm like my, my heart in my feet he come up to me with this this kind of hand motion. He wasn't a mean guy. He was a nice black boy, curly fur on him. He was a sweet boy, sweet, sweet boy. He like, yeah, so we're gonna have to, uh, uh, I'm like, I, I couldn't even hear what he was saying, but I know he said it to me nicely. I couldn't even hear what he's saying. But all I got from that was get the fuck up. It was like 1.23. I was like, all right, so can I at least get seven minutes? Whenever someone try to give me some type of rule, I always try to figure out how I can make it my rule back. Like, at least I control the situation. It's dumb. It gets me in a lot of trouble, but that's what I do. At least have seven minutes. He's like, yeah, sure, take your time. And this is Starbucks, the nice one. We got like sofas in there, heavy, heavy sofas, heavy tables in the center. Like, I'm like, I don't know how they gonna get to getting the people about them sofas and stuff or whatever. But that's what, that was, that was my second strike. I was like, okay, these niggas pack me up mid usage. Like I just bought my food. Like I just bought my items. Like, and I still got packed up. Like that's crazy. Like in my mind thinking shit is all kind of crazy. Like all, okay. But I knew that first strike was when I can close my restaurant with two other people and then my other coworker could go, my other server coworker can go home at eight something. Like that was my first red flag. Second red flag, me being packed up at a Starbucks and I'm taking my table right from me. Like I picked up three wigs because I was gonna film the haul, the pretty little things haul with Tata. Right, so I picked up the curly hair so I could shoot in the curly hair for the haul. So about that same night, I went to Tata house. We over here, it's Sunday. Normally I don't, I never work on a Monday, but Saturday, Sunday the latest. If my manager's out of town, she send us our schedule. Another red flag, I ain't get my schedule yet. I didn't leave for Tata house till like eight, nine o'clock. I got her hot house, you know, I ain't get no schedule yet. It's Sunday night. Damn if I don't work on no Sunday, damn if I don't work on no Monday. What's up with Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday? It's not until after me and Tata film the whole haul, Kiki calculating from eight to after hours, you know. Y'all was in that live, y'all know we did TikToks. Mind you, Tata already been quarantined because she already stopped at Apple for this for a minute. She already on like her own day four or five of her own quarantine. So she's like, yeah, just come over, we cool, we, we can do nothing, but fine. So I'm at Tata house. It's like 1 a.m. Let's see what time the email came. It's 11 o'clock p.m. when I got the email, didn't open it till like, 1 a.m. because I was, you know, I was filming at that time. Open the email at one. I was like, strike three, on the real son. Like it's somebody's out there getting truly affected. One was my job being slow. Two was Starbucks. Three was that email. By the time I drove home Monday, back home from Brooklyn in a jiffy, while it was still broad daylight, uh, I was like, oh no, something going on, kid. In natural cancer behavior, I handled that the best way cancers know how, hibernating finding out where we could find our comfortability. Because I was sitting there like, well, what you gonna do for real? What you, what, so what, so what are you going to do? I chose nothing. Tuesday was my first official day of quarantine. I'm answering texts of men that I really would never date. I'm over here considering if this is about to be my boyfriend when it's all happening now. I'm like, and quickly the Gemini me was like, girl, the next day or two. I'm like, wow, okay. Like texting all the time is not my thing. I'm not infatuated with you, so what are you doing? Good off of that. I don't like meeting new people. I mean, I already knew him, but it was just giving like maintenance of like, it's, I don't know. We as girls are weird. It's like, sweat me, but there's just this fine line of over sweating me where it's like, I no longer, you not, you, you, you too easy for me or something. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's just like, once you hit a, sp uh, like a, a certain point of sweat, over sweating me, and I don't even, you don't even know when it's about to happen. He don't even know when it's about to happen, or she. And you're like, oh. 
really? I, I don't know if it's the toxicity in me, but after a while, I'm like, all right, I ain't that great. I know I'm bomb, but relax, like, relax. It's not that deep. Oh, so I out flirted, flirting in a day. I think I had a boyfriend and husband all in one day, Dominican at that. He's nice, like, a super love language of mine is people that send me music or a playlist, even if a song, especially if I never heard the song. Oh, 10 more points for Gryffindor. He's sweet, he always makes sure I have weed. I pray to God he never sees this, but always nice to me. He, oh, he dresses cute. Okay, he a little shorter, but he always He's got money. He always like make sure I'm in a car. Always make sure he looks good. He like five nine, but he cute, you know. He always teaching me Spanish. He Dominican, you know. I was over here like, you know, maybe God, like, am I not supposed to be like dubbing niggas like this? Maybe, maybe you keep showing me somebody. You ever seen that that TikTok where they like, God, I do anything for a nigga. And that light skin nigga come like anything but him. I'm tell you why he wasn't right, God. Uh, uh, like, but that's what I was going through. He over here planning his birthday trip, and he a Gemini. He over here planning his birthday trip with me and him. We going to Hawaii. And it's that, that I'm just going along because one, I'll take a trip, and two, I ain't got nothing else to do but fake fan size. It's words to going out. I'm bored. It's day one of quarantine. Monday night, I found out I was jobless. Monday, I woke up at Tata's house still. Monday night, I found out I was jobless. Monday, I woke up at Tata's house still. You know, it's still not real quarantine yet because I'm with another human being. So, you know, it's still not real quarantine yet because I'm with another human being. So, Tuesday when I woke up alone, it was true quarantine time. By Wednesday, I'm over it. My ex come over, I did ask it. Don't ask me how I was. If he was in the live today, you know how it was. It's just probably a little bit inappropriate for me to talk about how I was on acid, but it was 90% laughs and I had a great trip. I took it two times at 9 p.m. Trip till 2 a.m. Woke up on Thursday, had a nail appointment at 12.30. Made it on time. Had I known I was gonna be my last, like my last nail set, I would have went crazy. I would have put stay home on my nails, get back, stay away. I would have put some wording on these hoes, you know? But I did a little pinky moment. I don't hate him because there's no wrong she can do. But if this lasts any longer than three weeks of non-essential businesses not being able to work, I'ma ask how much that house call is. Because one thing about me, these nails gonna have to get done. This pussy gonna have to get waxed, waxed. Waxed and these toes need to be done as well. Day one, I had a Dominican husband. Day two, I did acid. Day three, got my nails done. Day four, I was alone again, did nothing. I think I've watched, I watched Chicken Run. I watched nostalgic, old, childish movies. Day five, Five, I had a whole pizza to myself with a two liter soda. Day six, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't remember. It all became a blur. But then by Sunday, I was like, girl, we gonna have to do something. Come on, I wrote my journal for the first time this whole quarantine yesterday to acknowledge the fact that I'm grateful that I'm someone that has somewhere to stay during quarantine. I have a roof over my head, I have my own apartment. I have my own space. I have a way to still generate revenue because I do YouTube. I have a lot of fortunate things on my side. I'm black, I'm a woman. You know, quarantine just make you start being grateful for a lot of things at once. And I wrote them down, like a gratitude segment in my journal. So good. And then I was like, yo, this is a trial period to see what you can do like, if you actually quit your job and just do YouTube. Like this is your trial period right now. Like God gave you something out of a trying time. He still gave you a way to test yourself, which very important. Solitude can teach you a lot about yourself. I understand that we are in times that are very chaotic, very serious, very unbeknownst to a lot of us. We don't know the whole picture, but we have a picture that is pretty ridiculous, but okay, try to speak serious. <laughs> I think that it's important to still try to find, ugh, this sounds so deep, not yourself per se, but try to figure out what else you can do. It's okay to take a week to yourself and do nothing. I'm not saying like you gotta be on go time since the beginning of quarantine, like no. There's gonna be times where you do nothing. Don't feel bad about it because I did it for a week straight, but you also need to find this time to figure out what you're made of, like what can you do? Can you still in quarantine read a book? Can you still pull out your yoga mat and stretch for 10 to 15 minutes. Don't be pressured to produce content if you're a content creator. Don't be super pressured, but just know this is also a time to trust your, I mean, to trust and to test your hustle. What kind of worker are you? Are you a worker that only works because like, oh my God, like things are against me, I can't do anything. Or like, you someone that took time to yourself, acknowledge your space, acknowledge your break, and then still got back to work. Are you someone that's just about to wallow through the whole thing? Don't be that girl. I'm just. In my opinion, I don't think you should be that girl because I just feel like that bitch is a quitter. Cause I almost too was that bitch. I wanna see what the girls can make out of themselves during quarantine. I don't mean you gotta post a thousand TBT pictures, but if that's your way of cre creating, I get it. But just know I'm just one girl, I'm over the TBT 
taking pictures. I'm over the fucking logs. I'll tell you that. It gives an opportune moment for other people. I went downstairs. My auntie had her AirPods Pro plugged in listening to the, the D-Nice section, um, DJ D-Nice live. She enjoyed that a lot. I'm here for that. But you know, whatever good comes in evil. I think I just circled back around into my words of everything's okay, but. You know, I know it's hard. I know it's hard when there's literally nothing to do to think about doing anything productive to your future. But I just challenge you to try something that you always wanted to get done in general. Like read a book, finish a book, rearrange one piece of your room. Just challenge you to try something. If you're a content creator, challenge yourself to do something with content. If you're OnlyFans girl, you know, you just like a YouTube bitch. We got content to push out. I encourage you to do that. If you're a YouTuber also, I encourage you to at least film once a week, do something that you can scratch off for yourself. If you're a DJ, make a mix. I know it's troubling actually for DJs because of the licensing thing. I don't know, just, I, I challenge you to do something in your field that I can support. I'm, my heart goes out to nail techs and hairstylists. Hopefully you're able to do house calls maybe, maybe market that. I don't know, but I don't wanna see my girls going into depression and guys. We can do it. We all gonna make it out. We definitely are. It's just gonna be a long time coming. I do know, however, that first fit about this house. If I make it out of Corona alive, I better make sure I don't waste my time, my life, my looks. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me finish this face off real quick and we gonna chat in a second. Of course, I found a reason after setting my face to add some shit to my face. I'm using the color Bite. Your bitch will be nagging the kid. Fuck it, it ain't what it is. If you get hit, get hit. And I got the, I got the, I got the, I got the, I got the. Okay, for those of you that ever wanted to see a bob for me, it's not touching my, it's not touching my shoulders. It's, here's the bob you asked for. Yeah, and give it a little, clamp. this is cute, no? Anyway, y'all, um, this is what I came up with. Thank you to all the people that, be, that gotta go to work. That is an essential job to us. Thank you for being brave and going outside. Thank you for the things that we don't even know you're doing for us to contribute. It was never a question. I want to go outside and take some pictures. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little get right with me. I can't believe I came up with the little sun setting, but oh my God, what is my auntie doing? Can't make rent? <laughs> girl, drink your water. Don't starve yourself. Don't overfeed yourself either, girl, cause, okay. Okay, see ya.